Ellie Fisher. And that's my brother. That's my sister. And these are your morning announcements. Attention students, there will be an interact meeting in Ms. Drubel's room Wednesday right after school. We will be discussing the pet parade and how it will work. Please plan on attending. Brood Awakening will be closed beginning Friday and will reopen next Tuesday due to students attending DECA in Nashville. Please give best wishes to Maya Ludkey, Mikey Lutz, Cassidy Warm, Warm's Badger when you see them. Students leading students would like to remind you that April is Distracted Driving Month. The radio, your cell phone, food, even your friends can all be distractions while you're driving. Keep in mind on the road when you get behind the wheel, but don't stop at being a great driver. Be a great passenger. Make sure to call out your friends and even your parents if you see them using a cell phone behind the wheel. One, one call can wreck it all. Attention out-of-season athletes. Spartan Performance will be here today to help you get better mentally and physically. Meet outside the weight room at 325 for a chance to improve yourself and your team. Not sure what it, this is all about? Ask a softball player. They will tell you it's worth it. This could be the best one-hour investment you will make this week. On Monday, the vars varsity baseball took two tough losses against Portland. Alex Montrose had three hits on the day along with two RBIs. Clay Boak and Eric Fritch each had two hits. The record is now 4-2. to two. Fowler won two games, two games of a doubleheader against East Lansing on Tuesday night. Game 1, Fowlerville 8, East Lansing 5. Game 2, Fowlerville 5, East Lansing 4. Leia Ash pitched seven strong innings for the win in Game 1. Hannah Powell and Casey Cruz led the offense effort for the Gladiators in Game 2. Riley McGuire and Jordan Dragunov had multiple hits and Valerie Wind earned the win in the circle. The girls varsity tennis team dropped a tough match versus a very strong Portland team on Tuesday night. Winning for the Glads at one singles was Emily Tarsini. The second doubles team of Alyssa Bennett, Betsy Bassett won a thrilling three set match, six to two, two to six, seven to five. Coming back from being down two to five in the third set, Four singles, Lucy Gonzalez dropped a tough three setter, six to three, four to six, six to seven. We host a gladiator quad on Saturday. The JV girls softball team added two more games to the wins column Tuesday night, beating East Lansing twenty four to thirteen in five innings and seventeen to two in three innings. Taylor Ponsart and Lindsey Darby were the winning pitchers on the night. Offensively, the Gladiator bats dominated, led by Miranda Prochnow, who had two singles, a double, and a triple, and Janelle Leslie, who added three singles, two doubles, two triples, and her second home run of the season. Girls are now 5-1 and one and will tra travel to Durand on Thursday. Bye!